Hi guys, it's Sherry. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. I am here uh, to uh, do a little another another little demonstration for on my uh, for my in love arts projects. And so this is video number two since I did the unboxing. This is the second video. So um, what I'm doing tonight is on my last video I asked if anyone would like to see me demonstrate go up cutting with my little sidekick here uh, cutting these little flowers like I did with the this is the die let me show you the little flowers these little flowers here they're like a little branch with flowers and so uh, this is the die that I uh, received from in love art super cute and I just thought it was very I was trying I like to try to a lot of times pick out practical things that can give me a lot of use like I can probably use this in just about any journal I make, you know what I mean? <laughs> Botanical, vintage, a little golden book, whatever, you know, type of thing. So, as I said in the first video where I was unboxing my In Love Arts products, I used this little Sizzix sidekick that I uh, was gifted to me from Maria at Maria's Miscellany my friend and so yeah she got a new one and so she mailed me her old one isn't that isn't it cute but it's really nice because it fits you know i can just have it right here on my desk it doesn't take up a lot of room and so all you do with this little thing if you've never seen this they have new ones out there you know this may be an older one but it still works great and uh they have newer ones so you know check it out on amazon or wherever so all you do this one has a little lever here that you kind of just go like that and it see how it shaking my whole table it's suctioned down so hard it won't move so with this how this little one works is it has these two plates it has little like thick kind of plexiglass plates like this two of them one here and one here and then it has two little magnet pieces and that is what holds your metal die in place right so I just put my metal die there, kind of in the middle of this metal, I mean this magnet piece. This is what uh, Maria gave me, so this is what I've been using. I haven't had to order any new parts, so um, I think I think Maria said this is... I know the, the plastic plates were with it. I don't know if the magnetic pieces were with it or not. I don't know if she made those or if they were with it, but they work great, so... There must be some kind of magnetic pieces when you buy a new one with it because you have to have something to hold the uh, metal die in place, right? So anyway, I cut some little pieces of... The thing about this size is you have to have something that goes through this little slot here. Um, I think you probably saw it, but well, let me pick it up. You see this little slot right here? This right here? Whatever, I, whatever dies I use, it has to fit right through there. So I can't use like really big ones. I can only use little ones. So that's why I ordered this die because it looked like from the website that it would, you know, you look at the measurements and everything that looked like would fit through. Well, let me get this suction down again. Okay, so what you do is you put a plastic plate, then you put the magnet, then I put the, uh, the die, and then I put my paper, right? This is cardstock. Uh, Double-sided scrapbook paper, card stocky type. Just put that on there. Then, then another magnet. So you're making a little sandwich here, <laughs> a little Sizzix sandwich. So um, then that, and then uh, your other piece of plastic or plexiglass. And I kind of get it all evened up, you know, before I stick it through there. So it's all evened up. Let me move my little basket over here so I have room to crank. <laughs> got got a crank now. So. I try to get this in here evenly so it will go through nicely. And then I just kind of, let me move this up a little bit. I'm having a hard time reaching it. Of course it works great off video. So let's see, I was wondering if it would work good on video <laughs> or make a liar out of me. Okay, let me push it, push a little bit. Sometimes say, say, say if you have one of these already and you're having trouble with it, if it's not going through, sometimes I just turn it over like that. I just turn it over and say, okay, you want to work now? Let's see, what am I doing wrong? Okay. What am I doing wrong? Let me try this way. Turn it around. <laughs> oh, there it goes. I turned it around. You see that? 
I flipped it over, turned it around <laughs> either way. Okay, so now it's going through. That's all it took. A little flip, a flip, and a turn around. Can happen to the best of us, right? Okay, so it went through. I'll move it out of the way. Undo our sandwich here. And here's our paper. You can pull it off carefully because you don't want to break your die, your piece. You know, you don't you don't want to tear it. There it is. Okay, here's the piece. You can also use this in your in your journals or you, you know, make little tags or whatever, that piece. Here's the die. Okay, you see my paper is in there. Let me grab my little tool here. It's in my I've got all my little goodies for this project in here and my little organizer basket. Here's the tool I got from Dollar Tree, and see, um, it has these little holes on the bottom that help you get your paper out. The bottom of the die has all these little holes, so you just poke carefully. You know, you don't want to poke a hole, probably, in your project, but it's coming out. Uh, let me get it, let me get going here. It's coming out here. Let me get a hold of it, and then you just carefully pull it out so it doesn't rip. You can poke, poke it in the back more if you need to, but I could see it was coming out. And there you have it, another little flower. So sometimes there's little pieces in here that you have to still poke out. Like right, I can see one right there. That's just how they're made. That's how the die is made. This one already fell out, so I think all the little pieces are out. So that is the final product there. And here's the other side. Like I said, it's two-sided scrapbook paper. So that's another one. And I got out two pieces of paper because I thought maybe we could do more than more than one, just so I could show you. But um, okay, so once more, put the die in, put the paper in. Let's see if we can get it to work the first time this time. Make our little even out our little sandwich here. Okay, let me put my little tool over here and get my little machine back over here. <laughs> this, this is the Sizzix Sidekick. Okay, all manual. You don't have to worry about plugging it in or anything. That's also handy. Okay, let's see. Okay, what did I do last time? <laughs> Turn it around, see if that works. Turn it over. There it goes. So you just have to kind of work with it, see which way it wants to go in. See, I didn't get any instructions with this either. I mean, I got some for Maria, but <laughs> I didn't, you know, she got it used, I got it used, so we're just figuring things out, right? And I haven't used it that much either. I really need to use it more. So undo our sandwich and see how we did. Okay. Can you see how pretty <laughs> already? So we're just gonna pull that apart. If you're worried, you know, you don't have to be, I mean, you have to be careful so your piece that's in there doesn't, but see how that all came out together? Now that it would be nice to use that on a card or something. So you have that little, you know, space there to have a decoration of a flower. And then we're going to poke this out. Here it comes. And that's how that little machine works. So, yeah, if you've never seen that before, it's pretty handy. I like it. I know Maria used it a lot because she sent me tons of butterflies that she cut out with that little machine <laughs> and other things probably that she sent me butterfly die cuts and things. So there we go. Isn't that cool? Okay, so now that's the die and they have lots of dies at like that at In Love Arts shop.com which I'll have linked below with all of their uh, coupon code. I have a coupon coupon code. Sorry I gotta take my care of my allergies for a second. But um yes a very good coupon code will be under my video and the links to these products that I'm using in case you wanted to go get that same dye and on any other products I'm using too. So what I thought we would do also tonight is fit work with this some more the last video i put these down to see what they look like on the side of a page and i have some music here that we can decorate and some bling 
and um, some little pearl, you know, stickers, and some uh, vellum here that I thought maybe we could work with if we have time. So let's see what we have time for tonight. This is that washi I showed you last time. It's, I like this, it's washi, it's washi stickers. It does have a back that you peel off. And it's individual, I mean, it's not individual, but you can make it individual. So it looks like little notes. And it says, like this one says weekend, and you know, it has a little space for writing. And I thought it was really cool. And last time in the first video, we made a little journaling card, this one right here. And this was a flower that I cut off from one of the little flowers that we made, die cut flowers. And we were kind of layering a little bit. And so this is a flower that I had left. So I thought I would actually, instead of letting this float around in my basket over there, let me grab my glue. <laughs> yeah, instead of letting it float around like it just was in my basket tonight, I thought I would glue it down and just use it as a little decoration. So that is something else you can do with these die cuts. You can cut them apart if you want to and use a little flower separately like this. So this is going on the journaling card here, a little mini one. I was just going to put it like right here and have a little decoration on there. Just use that up so I don't have it floating around. Isn't it cute? And we had backed that on file folder and distressed it last time. So it came out super cute. So that's that washi I just showed you that I made a little journaling card with. <laughs> so um, tonight, this is we put this piece down on. This is a page that will go in a future journal of mine. And we made these little pockets on copy dyed paper and put some of the washi right there. So I thought tonight maybe we could layer this a little bit. And that's what I talked about last time too. But I um, also showed you, let's see, these like vellum stickers that I had received and picked out from In Love Arts. I already peeled the backing off so it would be easier on video so I wouldn't have to take up time trying to get the backing off. But it has like a plastic backing because it is a sticker. I peeled that off and this is what I had left, right? So I want to see about maybe putting this down, doing a little layering here. So like put this down here like this as a layer and then some of our little die cut flowers. So we've got like green kind of off white. It kind of blends in with the coffee dye paper, more green. So maybe we need a little color here, right? I've got a book page one here that would look cool. This book page, this is not cardstock, this is just paper, like a book from a book page. So you can see it also works on paper. I would just say you have to be more careful with paper than cardstock because you know it's going to rip easier, right? <laughs> when you take it out of the die cut. But maybe this would look pretty on there, wouldn't it? Let me see about before we put that, putting another one on and then maybe the book page. So here's the light kind of peachy color. This side is orange. I'm going to put this one down and maybe then this one to see how this all looks together. Mm, I think I like it with just the book page, like one or the other, not both. I think the book page looks really good there with this because this is kind of vintagey and um, neutral, almost neutral, even with the greens. So let's try this. Uh, I would say I would put the glue on here, of course. So I don't get glue all over my paper there where I don't need it since this is such a small little, um, you know, die cut. It's not very wide anywhere. It's got this small stem and the little flowers. And I'm going to get try to get glue out to the tips of this little these little flowers so they all are glued down. So that could take a minute, right, to get all the glue on here. Actually, now that I think about it, <laughs> but. Um, I mean, you could run it over a glue stick, but I would say you have to be really careful with that too because you could rip it running it over, over a glue stick. So I'm just gonna do this. Be, have a little patience, get my glue on there. And it'll be worth it in the long run to have a pretty layered little botanical look here with all the pieces together. Okay, I'm almost done. A little bit down here. All right, so let's see how it looks now with this on here. So this is down. This is to the side and up. So I want this one to go kind of over here. It's 
kind of like I need to get it in the right sp space the first time. I think I'm going to go this way. It's going to be wherever it is because once it's down, this, this little flower will break if I try to bring it, get it back up, right? So it's going to be wherever it lands. <laughs> it's going to be wherever it lands. Okay, let's see where it's landing. Okay, let me pull it down. The stem is... Okay, there we go. Yep, yep, that looks good. I like it. I like where it landed. Okay, let's push all the little petals down. Get them all nice and flat. Just being careful. I don't want to rip anything off. If you did, you could glue it back together. But Okay, so this is where it landed. And I, like, I do like it. And then this little piece is hanging off here. So all I would do there is just cut that off. Cut it off here. Cut it off up here. There we go. I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay, isn't that cute or pretty? I like it. I look like that a lot. I'm glad that we layered that. Okay, so that page is ready to go in one of my journals. I'll do some more on the other pages, maybe, or leave them for writing. We'll see. So those two pieces are done. Okay, so I have some. I wanted to try some music here. I've got some vintage music pages that I have coffee dyed. And I wanted to, let's see. Okay, so I was thinking the great thing about two-sided, using two-sided scrapbook paper, see, and we cut out two of these. One, and I said one was orange. It was orange on one side in this pretty color of kind of a floral, you know, these, this color here on the other side. And so I thought, wouldn't it be cool to use this as you know because they're coordinating they're from the same piece of scrap of paper but just one side and then the other so I thought let's see how it looks if we just like this is the darker side right so we're gonna glue this down so we're gonna glue the floral side down on this one so let me get a little glue on this piece I wonder if I just dot it on instead of trying to streak it would that work? I don't know what the fastest way to put glue on here is. This is the first time I've used this. You know, I used this dye for the first time in my last video. So this is the second time I've used this dye. I think this is the probably the first time I glued down a whole one. So now I see how it is. But it's fine because it's really going to be cool. Okay, so this is what I was thinking. Glue this down so that the orange side is on the bottom layer. I'm going to put it over here. Now I could use this as a page in my journal later, or I could cut this out and make a tag or a journaling card, right? So that's what I was thinking on this too. It could be whatever I want it to be later. Right now we're just going to make a little layer in here, and then I'll decide later how I use it, right? Okay. So getting all my little pieces down here on my little flowers make sure they're glued down okay then I thought um, let's take here it is let's take this one and use the lighter side and do our layering so let me cut off some of the little flowers here um, let me cut off let me cut off a whole stem let's try that first this little bottom stem right here see it because we can layer the stem too and so this one looks like it would fit right here and kind of offset it like that. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do it dilly dally because you know how time flies. <laughs> so this time I'm gluing the orange side down. And we're going to offset it a little bit like I just showed you on this one. So the stem is offset. The flower petals are offset. So you can see the orange underneath the flowers okay now we're gonna do a few more let's see let's go ahead and cut let's go ahead and cut the little let's cut all the stems off because then we'll see we can have we can have options okay so that's I need to keep track of them see where they're going here <laughs> there's one there's a little one there this is actually one, these are actually two right here too. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those off. 
Try to get them to all land on my little music paper here so I can keep track of them. I don't want them, going, I don't want them to go flying off in, you know, <laughs> in space. Here in my craft room, you know what happens when that happens. You might never find it again. It goes under your desk and there you go. <laughs> it's never to be found until you vacuum there one day. And then it's too late because it went into the vacuum. <laughs> okay, so we cut off all the petals and stems. All we have left now is this stem. So we could use that even to layer here. Kind of put it beside this one. That kind of looks neat. Yeah, it's pretty detailed when you cut off all the little pieces and, and start gluing them back on, but I want to see. I want to see what it looks like, right? That's what we're here for, to experiment today. My in love arts things. <laughs> and this die cut. Okay, so we put that down. And we I put it right beside the other stem so you can see the two colors. And now here's a big one. Let's see where this is. Do we want to put the big one on the big one? I think we do. Okay. So we might just be layering all of these flowers today. You can do one or you can do them all. You know, just depends on what kind of look you're going for. And so we're just experimenting. So I just want to do them all this time and maybe next time I'll do less, you know. Uh, and, and maybe we won't do them all this time. We'll see. We might leave like, see how we have two tones here. We could leave these orange and then put another layer down here on this one. So we'll have some orange and some two layered. That I think is a good idea. So they're not all the same, you know, give us a little more maybe dimension to our little flower here as far as not all this being not all the same. So I'm going to offset this. Let's see how I want to do that. Kind of like this. Flowers, petals in between petals. And then the stem is kind of off to the side here. Maybe a little bit too much, but It'll be all right. I'll push it over a little bit. Okay, so we've got two layers here. No, you know, just one layer here, two layers here, and then a single layer. I think, let me see. Because here's the other pieces here. So I do definitely want orange there. So this one we won't be using. I hope you don't mind me getting a little detailed on you here. This is a tiny one, so this could go up. No, that's too close. Okay, this could go down here. But then it's, yeah, I like, I really like the orange, uh, the different colors. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. I decided that's too, too, like, matchy-matchy, you know, too the same, too much the same to put more flower, colored flowers on there. Okay. You get the picture. So, uh, now, where's my, let's see. So this one, if we we're going to put some pearls on here, or some, you know, st pearl stickers, we would use the these uh, lighter ones. I got the green ones out to go. If I put one on here, you can see how it looks. See, this is green and orange and yellow. So this one look, would look pretty. If I put one of these on here, I hope that's not too much glare for you, but I want to show you in case we don't have time to do it. So, on this one, we're going to just use one of these. Let me get some glue off of me here. These are all the same size, so I'm going to pull one off and just put one in the middle of a couple of these flowers. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a little, little dot, dot of glue there and put one Put one right here. There we go. Get off my finger. It's so tiny. Okay, maybe I use my little tool here. <laughs> yeah, it's handy, isn't it? That little tool. And there we have a little pearl there. Okay, and let's see. In order not to be matchy matchy, do we want to have one like on one of these little flowers? Let's try it. Let me just pull this off of here and pull our little pearls off of there. I think I got that that sheet at Dollar Tree because I saw them there. I had never seen them before and I saw them. I was like, 
I really like those. I better get them right now because they're probably never have them again. You know what I mean? That's how it is at Dollar Tree sometimes. Or just when you think they're going to have something all the time, then all of a sudden they don't have it anymore. So, yep. Okay, we got one there and there. We need at least one more like over here. I would say, yes, let's do one more. So I just wanted to try to see what we could do with these die cuts, flowers, die cut flowers, a little layering, a little decoration. Where's my little tool? Let me get back here. Okay. <laughs> these are, yeah, they're stickers and they stick to you. Okay. Yep. That little tool comes in handy, really. All right. It's, it's going. It's going to go on there. There we go. Isn't it cute? They're so little. I think that one's smaller. Maybe these are different sizes. They're, these are probably the same size. They just look so small. Okay, let me show you. Up close. So we've got one here, one here, and one here. We could put them all over, but, you know, just to, you know, give it some kind of a, you know, like I said, I don't want them to all be the same. So pearl, pearl, and then layers. And I think that's really cute. So later I can put some backing on here. If I want to make this into a drawing card or a tag, you know, cut it out, make it into a tag. I think that would be really cute. Or fold it over and leave it as a page and cut it down to fit one of my journals. So super cute, right? So that is the uh, die cut. We did the little layering here. On this page use the washi that die cut and the green leaf sticker that I got from Dollar Tree and let me see how much time I mean from uh, in love arts oh okay yeah I have a couple of minutes so let's see let me see I wanted to try putting a piece on this vellum and possibly using it later I was kind of wondering, like maybe using this green one, would it almost look like a pressed flower? You know what I mean? I think it would almost look like a pressed flower. So I'm going to cut it down to fit on here because it's too big. So, you know, you can always cut them down. You don't have to use it as one whole piece. Okay. And I'm going to use the green side because I kind of want them to look like a pressed flower and put on here. And so, let me just glue it down. I think that would be pretty. Get a little glue all over the little pieces. And then I can also use this to make a tag or even put in a window, you know, or a pocket. So, this up. It's got to dry. My glue's got to dry there. Okay, so here we go. I can put some little bling on there if I wanted to, but the idea, my idea is to do this, to cut it and then use it in a window or something or in layering. So there it is, isn't it? That looks really nice, doesn't it, on the on the vellum? And I need to even that up, but I just wanted to get the idea. And I hadn't tried that before. This is the first time I've tried it, so I think that's really here. Here it is on the back. <laughs> even looks neat on the back too, right? So uh, yeah, that's cool. We'll have to do some more experimenting with the vellum maybe in the next video. So I'm gonna let you go now. I hope you enjoyed all the little. Um, things we uh, experimented with tonight. We did all of this. So I will see y'all next time. One more video from these Unlove Arts products. And don't forget to click on the coupon and the links below for these products and the coupon. Thank you for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Happy crafting.